insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. Really is no secret. I mean, I've got these plastic trim tools and stuff here to help. But if you've got vice grip fingers like me, you really just reach in there and pinch the thing as hard as you can and uh, rip it out of there. Yeah, they really do just pull right out of there. So you can get a good look at there's no kind of clip or anything. It just rips right out of there. Brute force. So if you were worried, and of course, if you can't do it with your fingers like I do, and, and have your nails clipped too, because you don't want nail scratches here. That's just, you know, handle needs to be cleaned off before we put this together. And yeah, you can use these, but yeah, they're not quite as soft as your skin. So I would say put some kind of uh, paper or cardboard there before you go prime with one of these. Because you don't want to mess up the face. Other than that, it's just brute force, guys. I don't, I don't know why everybody with every single instrument cluster video I watch, I don't know why they skip that part and leave that out. But they do. They just skip right over that. So, if you find any more tricks that's helpful on fixing this instrument cluster. This happens to be from 2007 Ford E250 Super Duty van. And of course, I have videos on how to get these out and put them in. That's a common problem with these things going bad. I don't know if I can fix this one or not, but if I do find out what's wrong with it and fix it to where it works again, I mean, this thing, nothing works. It's just completely dead. But I also have a video on how to bypass this so that your windows and radio will work because, of course, if one of these goes bad, your windows and radio loses power too. For some reason, Ford and their infinite wisdom decided they were going to route power from the windows and the radio through the instrument cluster. Baffles me why they want to do that. Didn't seem to be any kind of uh, advantage to that at all. If you can think of any reason why they would do that, put it in the comments, please, but I can't. Anyway, you're probably long gone already, but if there's anybody still here watching this whole video, I really appreciate you. I mean, it's people like you that watch all the way to the end of the video. It's made this channel what it is today. I'm so very thankful. I mean, I got to give props to the whoever watches at least half of the video. I mean, that's, that's half is better than nothing, but I mean, really, really thankful for you guys that stay all the way to the end of the videos. Really appreciate you. And I hope that the stuff that I put on here helps you guys out. But remember, it's mostly for entertainment purposes because you shouldn't be doing the things that I do. You could end up burnt, bruised, and bleeding like me. And certainly don't even do anything that I talk about <clears throat> in my videos. You can get hurt, you wake up in the hospital, you be tear things up. I've done all those things more than twice. So, <laughs> till the next video. Get off the couch and get dirty. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews. We've got repair videos. We've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Saint Auto. Binge watch Saint Auto. Binge watch Saint Auto.